Now this may sound quite sad, but I absolutely love soldering. But one thing I hate about it is when I get to the end of the process and I need to get rid of all the flux that's all over the PCB, which usually ends up with me using my isopropyl alcohol and a cotton bud. So with that in mind, I have been doing some ferreting and I've got myself some of these nano sponges. I'll show you these in action in a little bit. But before I do that, I need to show you the regular nightmare I have trying to clean up my PCBs. And it's got to the point where I've got that fed up of it, I don't tend to do it. And I know that I should, but hey ho, they're my PCBs. So let's have a look how I normally get on then with cotton buds, or Q-tips, as perhaps some of you may call them. So here's a typical motherboard that I'm currently working on. I'd normally give it a little spray of isopropyl, wherever it is I've been working, and then I'd give it a bit of a massage around with the cotton bud. And I might even, if it's, uh, if it's quite stubborn and difficult to get in, I'd probably give it a go with an anti-static brush. And as you will find, especially if you've tried this yourself, is the cotton bud likes to get stuck on all the sharp bits. You can't get in between realistically. And as you go along, it keeps catching and you end up with a lot of bits of cotton fibre left floating around on the board. And the end result is these aren't very absorbent. And what I find is I just end up spreading the alcohol and flux mixture around the board, taking off a little bit, but certainly not all of it. Then I'll spend ages trying to clear off all the fluff that I've got left behind. Not ideal and something that I've got a bit fed up of. So welcome then the nano sponges or the nano cleaning sponges. 800 apparently in here. Mechanic brand. Show the style of master. Well, we'll certainly try, won't we? But I've already been through this, haven't I? But it's literally full of, wait for it, sponges. Would you believe it? And I'm guessing the nano bit comes from the just really small sponges rather than anything, anything special, really. It's, it's a sponge, isn't it? So if we focus in, sponge, that is, that is pretty much it really. But I think these are going to be really good because for two reasons. First reason is there's a picture of a PCB on the box, which sort of suggests it's made for cleaning PCBs. And the second thing is, I think compared to the cotton buds, these are going to be super absorbent and also not come apart, or at least if they do, be really to really easy to clean off. So with that said, let's get some PCBs to clean. So what I thought we'd do is try and clean these five little PCBs that we've got here. These are little ROM cartridge PCBs for the ZX Spectrum, which I got a while back off PCB Way, who coincidentally is the sponsor of this video. Whether you are starting out in soldering or a seasoned tinkerer, PCB Way have something to offer you. With literally thousands of projects to inspire you, there is sure to be something there. With PCBs starting from as little as $5, the quality, as you can see, is truly excellent. But they don't just offer PCBs, oh no. They also offer CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, 
And if, like me, you don't own a 3D printer, then they also do 3D printing. So don't forget to check them out. There is a link in the description. Thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Now, I've got a few sponges ready to go, but I think the technique that I'm going to go at is, if I just show you under the microscope, just how absolutely appallingly filthy this board actually is on close-up. I think the technique I'm going to go for is just literally give it, give it a couple of squirts of isopropyl and then just grab one of these sponges. I've got a few because I think I might need a few. And then just work it onto the board. Now this bit of the middle is really quite heavily dried out. So might need to give it a little bit of time to soak there. But as you can see, it's drawing it up into the sponge itself which is good, which is what we want to see. We don't want all this residue being left on the board. Yeah. Don't know how much one sponge will take before we want to swap it out, but it's giving the board a nice general one server. And thing quite like about it is it does get into all the little nooks and crannies which is hard to do with the q-tips the whatever you call them the cotton buds now the sponge is slowly disintegrating so I'm gonna get rid of that one and get a fresh one See what it's like with uh, putting more alcohol on, because I don't think we'll need it. Let's try another one. there's still some residue there so I'm just going to give it another squirt How's that looking? So back on the scope, I know it'll be looking dark in places, that's because I'm using a filter on the scope to try and reduce reflection glare. I think that's looking a little bit of debris down there, haven't we? Look. I think that's looking pretty good. Right, let's give it a final one server with the dry one. Now I think I can still hear a little bit of flux still left. So I'll tell you what, let's just give it a minute to just, to just soak and then, <clears throat> then we'll go at it again. Let's give that a try. I think we're nearly there. Let's use a dry one.
Now, for whatever reason, I lost the footage of finishing off that first one. But I've gone on and cleaned all of them in the end. I'm sure you get the general gist. And if we take a look at a couple of these under the microscope at least, you'll see that they're certainly not perfect. But I'm very pleased with the final result. Very pleased indeed. There's most of the flux gone and you see there's a little bit of residue there. You could go back and give it another one over if you so chose. I'll just have a quick look at another one. Because everything looks a bit darker because of the filter to stop the reflection. But, or reduce the reflection. But as you can hopefully see, it's a vast improvement. And what's even better is it's not covered with loads of fluff and bits left either from the cotton buds. 8 out of 10 do you think? So having used these for years and given these a try, what do I think of them? Well, I'm going to sum it up very succinctly. I will never ever ever be using cotton buds to clean PCBs again. Absolutely terrible. This will be my go-to now. I love that they're absorbent. I love that you get into all the nooks and crannies when you're using it. Super easy to use, super effective. I'm really pleased with them. And what's even better is a box of these cost me £1.75 and it's going to last me ages. Now, I know they're not perfect and I guess if you want perfect, you're going to get yourself an ultrasonic cleaner. But I don't have the space for one of those and I don't want to spend the money on one. So these are going to do me absolutely fine. So if you found that useful and informative, if you did, please do consider supporting my channel financially. There is a link in the description to become a channel member. Don't forget the other good stuff like subscribing and liking. That's very much appreciated. It helps share my videos amongst other people. And if you've got Discord and you want to join in with like-minded people, there's also a link to my Discord channel in my channel description. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.